G'day there viewers and welcome to chapter 10. We're looking at the Alan Guys cash book today. I'm Sohab Alam, so let's get started. Okay, so objectives today are quite short while we're going to use an analyzed cash book. We're going to look at some example entries. It's going to be quite a short lesson. I'm just going to be looking at why we use the analyzed cash book and some example entries. So why do we use an analyzed cash book? Well, we use an analyzed cash book because it gives us extra information. Extra information of, such as how much you spent on that, what we spent, um, how much we received in cash. Maybe if we had a different line, um, how much we spent on that line. So it's very similar to an analyzed sales day book or analyzed purchases day book, very similar to that. And um, so yeah, let's get started. We're gonna have a look at some example entries from um, a company called Tiago Tires. So uh, we had we started off with a thousand pounds in cash and in the bank three thousand pounds. We had cash sales of two hundred and forty pounds. Commission received of forty pounds plus VAT, uh, two hundred and forty pounds plus VAT as well. Uh, rent paid of five hundred pounds by um, by check and office stationery of fifty pounds plus VAT as well. So this is Tiago Tires. This is a debit side that we're just looking at, and here's our analysis columns. This is um, everything on the this side of the black line is uh, your normal cash book. This is the analysis columns. So the thousand pounds and three thousand pounds opening balance at the start. There, obviously, where do you expect them? At the top, opening balance, um, one thousand pound and three thousand pounds, and then the cash sale uh, and um, the commission received. Cash sale here, commission received. Um, so we've got two hundred eighty-eight pounds. Of cash sales and then 200 and uh, sorry and then 48 pounds of commission received the VAT element of that is 40 pounds and the VAT element of this one is of the cash sale is 48 pounds and these are the um, amounts that were originally um, in the in the scenario and then these are the amounts that we um, of that total and this is the amount of cash sale total total so now let's have a look at the uh, purchases side so purchases side 500 pounds in rent we paid and then we paid um, 50 pounds of stationery plus fat so altogether it's 60 pounds and then the VAT element is 10 pounds and the cash purchase element is 50 pounds so let's carry on let's have a look at what it looks like in the T accounts so if we take the um, columns and put them in to the VAT, so the VAT is 10, uh, here is 10, then we've got 56 pounds here, and we put 56 pounds here, uh, let me see what else we can put in. So sales is 240 pounds, and the commission is uh, 40 pounds, so that was correct, wasn't it? Then the rent was 500 pounds, the rent was 500 pounds, so that will be in the rent account and then we've got um, these two are income so they'll be on the credit side that one's an expense it will be on the um, debit side and we've got stationery of 50 pounds see where the stationery is stationery 50 pounds so that was a very short lesson on analyzed cash book see you in the next lesson